the people here this evening. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the elders and community members from this room who were able to make it here tonight. Um, it was an incredible privilege and honor to have worked on this film and to have worked with the Musk Room people. Um, I can't really take credit for this film. I, um, I worked in collaboration with the community and with the curatorial team behind the three site museum exhibition that brought this film to life. Um, so I don't really want to talk that much. I just want to say thank you for coming and um, thank you so much. Um, the community came. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have Howard Brandt here to say a few words before the film starts. Um, and yeah, enjoy the show. Thank you, Amaya. Um, before I start, I don't own an iPad, but um, I, I do have some notes. Uh, more of this one. <laughs> Just kidding. <so. laughs> I thought it would be kind of nice to open with a bit of humor. My name is, my name is Howard Grant, and, uh, but more importantly, my traditional name is Kayapolan. I am the great, great, great grandson of the war chief, Pepalama, the warrior, who met Captain Vancouver in 1792, and prior to that, Captain Narvez in 1791. And his name traveled all the way to England uh, under a distant relative of mine that would borrow that name. So it was kind of nice that, that the name is known throughout the world. But more importantly, tonight is my night, and tonight is about Muslim and it's about Muslim's history. So I would like to welcome each and every one of you here this evening to the unceded traditional territory of the Hanukkah speaking people of this land of Muslim that we share with our relatives from Squamish and Tsleil-Waka. It's these lands that truly are the heart of our great, beautiful city and our province of British Columbia. And looking out and seeing the sea of faces that we have a lot of non-Aboriginal people here. Uh, makes me happy because we're now reaching out to the citizens of this great province and this great country of ours that is yearning to learn more about us as a people and the First Nations of this land. And we've always asked our elders why they never did this before. Why didn't they talk about who they were? And Please understand that we were, in our language, we call it Siam people, high, high class, high level, and that it was all, and our history was an oral history, so you never beat your own drum. But other people knew what was yours, and they never ever tried to impose themselves onto something that they knew belonged to someone else. But that all changed in the last 150 years. And now we're telling our story. We've lost a lot. Other nations have infringed and entered in, in, into our territory, as our friends have, and we've lost a lot. But now, thanks to people like Elmaya, that it's something now, it's, it's not a story, it's a piece of history being told in its entirety to the community at large so that they understand that they're part of this country and they need to know this part of that history. So on behalf of our Muslim people, I say 